Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, children of God. It's a different moment that I want everybody to listen to this message because the pressures of what God has opened my eyes to see was a great challenge. Uh, last Saturday, I was uh, studying the book of John. Uh, it's like I've never even opened it when I was in chapter 5. But you know, there's something dragged my attention which I was beginning to think about the things of the kingdom, which is in chapter 5. I want you to listen to this before I proceed. This is what really caught my attention. Chapter 5, 25, 26, 27. Though all those verses are very strong, they reveal the deep mystery of the Father and Son. You know, his Son was explaining and trying to let us understand there is no other way. It's only Him connected to the Father. And all what humanity needs is in Him because He is in God. God in Him. So, you know, from 25, if you see, from 24, 25, 26, 27. It now go deeper. When you get to verse 26, it says, For as the Father has life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. I want you to think about it. It's a little bit deep. It's a little bit deep. I was just looking at the glory that the Father bestow upon the Son that's so deep. Now, I now understand. The scripture came to me, John chapter 14, verse 16. Say, when Jesus Christ said, I will send, I will pray to the Father to send a comforter, to send a comforter. Oh my God, to send a comforter. You know, don't, I want you to think about it. And what does it do that come with energy of total fullness of Jesus Christ in life of as many that were called that received him? And that is exactly what happened in the day of the Pentecost. You know, later when I was meditating, it, then I now remember again, aha, okay, that is why the scripture tells us in 1 John chapter 2 verse 1, we have an advocate. As I said, we have an advocate. That is where I'm going. And my eyes was open. I saw Jesus Christ was on his knee. We two elbow, you know, only crying, seeking the face of God. Then I saw him in the, you know, it's out of the blood. I saw his blood come in a cubic around him. It's not inside the blood, but you know, the blood will just show, just like that. Around him, Christ was right at the middle and seeking the face of God for extension. I want you to listen to me very well. And the Lord told me, as I see Christ pleading once he arrives there, as soon as he rises from that pleading, the trumpets were sent. You know what I saw? Jesus Christ was sweating, crying. He cannot, you know, raise up his face to look at the Father. But he bent down on his knee, crying for extension. I want to call your attention to one thing. Something came to me. You know, he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And that place is not covered. Because if it is covered, Christ will not be into deep intersection. And the intersection that I'm talking about now is at go beyond level whereby he too he knew what Father said, rise in no trumpets with sand. He doesn't want to look at the face of the Father. He bowed down crying with his two elbows. Oh my God. I don't know what you are doing. What is your mind? What are you doing? What is it drawing you back from the kingdom? 
What are those things that make it to a little bit far out of the kingdom? I want you to hear this. Verse 29, it touches me. In verse 28 and 29, because to be half a great meaning to you, is a marvel not at this. For the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life. Can you hear that? They will hear him. They will rise. They will be taken to resurrection of life. For us, now hear what happened to those who are not doing good. <laughs> and, and they that have done evil. Hear that? They that have done evil unto resurrection of damnation. My dear, please. This is a serious time. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you've done. I don't know what you are looking at that make you to forget a day is coming. You will close your eyes and you will not be able to open it if Christ has not even come. After all, the sign is proving all what the world is telling us. We all see the sign. Anything can happen. It's moment to come back to him. Remember there is no repent at the grave that you are going. Whatever death caught you with, that's the final. The scripture did not say, hearing of his voice is for, you know, to call them out. It's not for them to repent. And see that the word can never contract each other. Because it say no repenter in the grave that you are going. Whatever caught you with, it's your final. Can you rise and start thinking about your life? Hey, how many years you spent on this heart? Compare eternity that you live like God. Look at the love. How many years do you think you're going to live? Because of money? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because of what? House? Because, tell me what it is. And that it won't make a lot of people to involve in darkness using women being for money. The money that will leave you at a certain time. Whatever you do with it, they all will let you. You will never be buried with it. What do you think? Peasant. Wait. Hold on. The time will come. Whatever situation that you are into, there's no one that know. I mean, what I mean is, a lot of people have been to such situations, but the Lord see them through. He will see us through. Let's come back to Jesus. Come back to Jesus. It's moment of repentance. Christ can rise from that pleading. Anytime he can rise. What the voice get to him, when Father asked him, Right, son, go. That's six. If you are caught with that now, where do you think you're going? Oh my God. Come back to Jesus. Now. It is now, not tomorrow. Right now. Change. Change. As I chapter one, he said, Come, let's reason together. The grace, if this message get to you, and your way is not said right, please repent right away. I don't really care. It's the truth. The Bible tells us a thousand like a year. And a year is like a thousand. Before many God, right now, do something. Do something. Come back to Jesus. Rise. Come on. Rise. Come back. Repent. Make your way okay. Money will go. I tell you, if you got money today, if you go tomorrow, and another one will come. So what? What are you waiting for? Why you? What, what, why you can't just forget about it and be waiting for everlasting to live with the King of Kings, where that's no money, no night, no afternoon, no headache, no struggling. Every
everything is there waiting for you. Think about it. No one I've ever lived in, I've lived on earth as if it's living in heaven. Life full of struggle and trouble. The scripture of made us understand that. Everything hard moment, that nothing perfect here. Heaven is only where perfection is. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Repent. Come back. Let it go. Forget about those things. Don't let it drag you to hell. Change now. Repent right now. And my heart was broken. I don't know I'm going to explain this better. But with the little word God has given to me, it's said, no, for a truth word that God has choose to make heaven. God bless you. Uh, as I pray right now, I want you to really come to your heart and just agree with me. Father, I just want to thank you right now. I glorify your holy name. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, as many that is watching this video, Lord, and that are repenting. Lord, the blood that Christ is reminding you, let the blood wash them and cleanse them. Let their name be written in the book of life. Let there be a great change in their life, O oh Lord. Lord, I just want to thank you. I thank you for this woman that is crying. As we listen to this message, Lord, I pray you have mercy upon her. Lord, I pray that you have mercy upon her. I decree right now, oh Lord, every power that I've been holding you in your sin, you are loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when the woman was caught at the heart of adultery, Jesus Christ said, where are your accuser? She raised up her her head, she cannot find any one of them. And say, go and say no more. Let the voice of freedom come to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for that one that is in pain. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree healing to you right now. Receive your healing. I command that pain to go. I command that pain to go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for forgiving them. Thank you for reconciling with them. Thank you for giving them the grave of reconciliation. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.